Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I'm not really sure if I'm even doing this right. So, I decided that even though I've already shot video for today, which was my trip back from the DC area, I am pent up because I've been sitting in that damn Forerunner for so long and I wanted to get out and walk around. And I thought, well, that's a perfect time for me to test out this smooth Q4. So that's what I'm doing. Now, one thing that I'm not quite sure of what's going on here is the fact that this is sitting funny. Hold on a second. All right, so if I move that back with the double press of the trigger, it basically is smacking into the side there. And that's not optimal, but I guess it's okay. All right, so that's what this is all about. I'm testing this damn thing out and trying to figure out how to use it. Now I have my Samsung S22 Ultra as the, the phone that I'm using. And what is happening is, all right, let me see if I can, hold on. Okay, so a couple things going on here. I had to move the phone over because I'm using my S22 Ultra and I had it a little bit too far that way and it was smacking into the arm. I don't think there's any way around that. So hopefully that doesn't mess up the motors because it's not sitting centered. I don't know. So far so good. We'll see. All right. Now the next thing. I have this extended all the way out, which is fine. I mean, I think it looks good. It looks to be pretty steady. Of course, I'm looking at the center of the screen, not at the camera because, well, you know, that's how that goes. But I think, I think for the most part, we got uh, a, a good field of view, whatever. I mean, you can see all around me. It seems to be keeping things nice and even and where it's supposed to be. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see, what else? So of course I am using the app, the smooth, or I mean the Zoom Cami app, and I'm not using any kind of external microphone or anything because I found that that's incredibly unreliable and I don't want to have to film an entire section, have it not record audio, and then have to get rid of it. I also just did not feel like carrying, All right, what the hell? I did not feel like carrying my um, Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter because well, I don't want to. And that's that. So now, I tried to not get hit by a car. I don't know. Certainly, there's going to be some shortcomings of this. Uh, one of them being that in order to get this so that I'm somewhat in the center, I'm, I'm having to hold the whole setup in my right hand because if I put it to my left and I put it where it's comfortable, I'm, I'm way too far this side. So I'd have to put it over here and if you can't see, I basically have my arm like all the way across to where my right arm would be. So that ain't working too well either. <clears throat> so not the most comfortable setup for using your left hand. I mean, I'm right-handed and that's fine. Here's another thing. The Wi-Fi disconnected. So now I cannot control the camera through the gimbal's controls here like I was before because I was hitting the record button and it worked when I first started doing it, but it isn't working anymore. And it did say that Wi-Fi had disconnected. Now I'm sure I could stop, reconnect it and all that kind of shit and, and kind of go from there but I don't wanna. I wanna see how all this stuff works and doesn't work. All right, it's gonna get a little loud. I'm by the industrial sized, what I'm assuming are the air conditioners. So I might be talking kind of loud and screamy, but that's just because I think I have to. All right, what else? I mean, this is really nice footage. It looks like everything is just nice and steady the way it should be. I am set up so that 
on the camera that's facing that way, which is the main camera, it's 4K 30, but I can only get uh, 1080 30 on the selfie cam. And I don't think that's gonna be a different regardless of which app I use. And you know, okay, that's fine, I get it. I'm thinking that if I don't connect up to this app and I just try to use this with the camera's inherent, or with the phone's inherent camera, that then I can do that director's mode where it's showing the front and back view. So I'm gonna try that now because I mean, at this point right now, I'm not using the app because I can't connect to it through the gimbal. So I'm gonna stop it manually and switch over to the other app. Okay, so there we go. I have now switched over to the actual camera app for the phone and I have it in director's mode so that you can see me and you can see what I see more or less all right I gotta hold this up a little bit higher I'm trying to get a comfortable position with my hand and that is like holding it with my fingers partially on the tripod feet and partially on the gimbal itself now this gimbal is incredibly light and I mean it while it's plasticky, it's not like horrible plasticky like the other one that I have that I had mentioned in today's video on the other device. It just seems like this is, uh, I don't know, it just feels a little bit more sturdy. Uh, now, I'm not going to be out there running an Iron Man with it or anything like that, but for the most part, it seems to be pretty fine. Don't know what the audio sounds like regardless of which app I'm using, but we all know that that is one of the shortcomings when you're using a cell phone. That being said, like I said before, I'm not using my Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter because I don't want to. The next hurdle will be when I take this back home and I try to take the footage off of this phone and put it into Final Cut Pro, the last time I did that, it blew everything that came from the phone out. And I honestly don't know what I can do to change that. So, uh, you know, if you have any ideas, well, let me know, because I don't know. So you tell me, what's this look like? Do I, do I look smooth, smooth as a Q? <laughs> Bad joke, I'm sorry. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. And again, this device isn't so big and cumbersome that it would be annoying to carry around. I mean, if I folded this thing up and if I took off the feet, but even if I didn't take off the feet, it's pretty much small enough. If I folded it up for storage, it would be small enough that I could put it in the pocket of my cargo shorts here and it wouldn't be a problem. And since I'm not trying to center the phone to balance it at all in order for it to fit on here correctly so that it's not bumping into the arms. I'm not really worried about taking the phone off and then having to take time to recenter and all that kind of shit. I'm basically just sticking it a little bit past the power button and, and that way I miss, just miss the arm. And, and we kind of go from there and see how that looks. So I definitely like how it looks on the phone screen. Again, it looks very smooth. The colors, although look like they may be a little bit oversaturated, not really sure about that. Oh, so tonight, while I'm choting on the couch, I'm gonna be trying to find that video or the instructions or something to show me how I can mount those uh, ram mount things on the dashboard for my phones and get that working. I haven't even opened that package yet. It's probably still in the truck for all I know. But I have to do that, figure that out, and then tomorrow that will also be one of the projects that I do. Probably when I'm procrastinating from doing day job work. But I will get that stuff all mounted. I mean, one of them, I just have to change the mount because I didn't like the mount that I had to use two hands for and it was always poking up through the rubber that's at the ends of the metal. So that literally is just unscrewing and removing that piece from the ball mount and then putting the new piece on and that, I mean, how long does that take? The only thing that's gonna take some time is figuring out how to mount that one 
ball mount to the dashboard. And I don't want to, I mean, I really don't want to drill into the, to the dashboard and all that kind of shit, but I don't see any other way of doing it safely, especially since it's going to be heavy and I'm not going to rely on the Gorilla Tape because that's just not going to do it. I have to say I'm kind of surprised that it's not more humid and gross out than it is because right now it feels like it's just hot but not particularly humid. Now, it's not not humid, but it isn't that, that gross sweltering that I thought it was going to be like. Now, tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be in the 90s, so it might be gross. And that's the other thing I have to do. It's the first thing in the morning. I need to get to Home Depot and get those vents, those auto-blowing vents or whatever the hell you want to call them, and get those set up. So I've been blathering for 17 minutes, at least with this app, in the director mode. I'm interested to see what that does to the battery life, which was at around like 65% maybe when I started. All right, so this is kind of starting to hurt my forearm a little bit. And how long have I been walking, holding this thing, since I pretty much have to keep it in my right hand? All right, here's the other thing. I'm freaking hungry. I didn't eat lunch. I had a rather sizable breakfast, and then I stopped at a Starbucks just so that I could stop and get gas and pee and all that stuff. And I went and got a uh, cold brew or iced coffee, whatever the hell they gave me. And I didn't eat lunch. I came home and I had my usual gigantic scoop of peanut butter with a bunch of blueberries. That's, that's almost become my cereal. You know how I was always too lazy to make food and I would just eat like a gigantic bowl of cereal. Well, since I'm not eating that, now my go-to lazy meal has been like a, a huge scoop of organic peanut butter and you know, I just dump in a shit ton of blueberries and I eat that. Most of the stuff that I've recorded while I was on this walk will not make the cut for the final video. All this video was about was literally testing this smooth Q4. I have it extended the whole way. I played around with the modes. I used the, uh, what, the Zune Cami app for the first part and then decided that I wanted to do the director's mode, so I shut that off and I'm just using the inherent camera app and I think that that works well for me for my style of vlogging so that you can see what I'm seeing, but you can also see me, because it's my channel and you should see me. The controls, once you figure them out, or I guess in this case, once I remember, because I think most of the Zoom gimbals all have relatively the same controls. Now that tracking has become a thing, I can hold this up, get the center of the frame on what I want to track and I can push it once and it will track whatever it captured in that section. So if there were somebody walking in front of me, like if I were with my queen, I could put the center little crosshair thing on her, press the trigger once, and now it will track her wherever she goes. If I'm in this, just the selfie mode itself, I can then have it on me, press it, and then no matter what I do and no matter where I move, it's always going to fall on me. I can also use my finger to draw a box around my melon and then it'll follow my melon the whole time. So that's cool. And that's definitely what I want. Now the big problem using this because I'm actually using the phone that's connected to the gimbal, it would be very difficult for me to track myself on the main camera and get 4K 30. I'm only going to be able to track myself with the selfie camera, which is 1080, 30 frames. So there's the trade-off. And I can't connect another phone to it because then it's not gonna play right. So if I'm using this camera on this S22 Ultra or even an iPhone 13 Pro Max, one of my phones, with this gimbal connected to it, there are limitations for what I would normally get. But that being said, there isn't a huge difference in the 1080 to the 4K when I'm shooting like this. So 
And will I always shoot in director's mode? I don't know. I doubt it. I mean, because there's going to be some stuff that I'm going to record in 4K30 that I want in 4K30. And it's going to be the forward-facing main camera. And, you know, in which case, you don't need to see me. And, you know, that's just going to be, I, I wouldn't say B-roll, because I don't do B-roll and A-roll and all that shit usually. But you get the idea. I can record what's in front of me. And then if I need to, then do a selfie record so that you can see my commentary or see me when I'm blathering. But, all right, I think you kind of get the idea. I've been going for 25 minutes, 26 almost, and I think everything has looked pretty good. It's been pretty steady. All of this is light enough that while it, I'm aware of, of it, you know, being in my hand and also keeping in mind that I have this extended all the way and out in front of me so it is putting a little bit more pressure on me and on my hand wrist forearm whatever than it would be if I didn't have it extended but if I didn't have it extended now you get my melon in the screen and that's about it because I'm so close to it and do you really want that? Okay, that's enough blathering on, I think. 28 minutes, by the time I'm done, it's gonna be 30 minutes of recording. The second group, plus what I filmed when I was on the Cami app. So I've been going for a while. That's it for now. That's all you get, and it's plenty. And obviously I'm not gonna post a 30 minute video. Uh, you'll get the select parts of it, but you get the idea. So I would love to hear what you think. I'm not an influencer. This wasn't sent to me. I bought this with my own money, like all my other shit. So I'm under no obligation to speak kindly or to give you any kind of bullshit and blow smoke up your ass and tell you that, oh, it's wonderful. I've told you what I don't like, what I do like, the bottom line, monkey approved. I definitely dig this thing. It's nice, it's light, it is responsive. It does what I want it to do. And I love this S22 Ultra. I'm totally digging this director's mode where I can be on the film in the corner and you can see what I'm seeing and it's all peachy keen. So that's it. But I wanna hear what you think. How did it look? Did it look smooth is, is what I'm seeing? Did it look like shit? Are the colors awful? Is the audio awful? I mean, give me a break on the audio. It's a cell phone and I'm not hooking up freaking pro audio to it when I'm using it with this. So that's it. All right, that's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up. <laughs>